Composite volcanoes are built from layer upon layer of mostly magma. They make up 60% of the Earth's volcanoes. They have steep sides and can grow to great heights. Although they are picturesque, they have the potential for very violent eruptions. Mount Vesuvius in Italy destroyed the entire city of Pompeii in 79 AD. That's just one example of these highly explosive volcanoes. There's one very well-known composite volcano in the United States, Mount St. Helens in Washington. Its famous eruption was in 1980. Composite volcanoes create volcanian eruptions. These are often characterized by many cannon-like bursts of explosions. Lava can also flow from these eruptions. The first thing that happens when a composite volcano erupts is a plume of ash is released. It can shoot 2 to 10 miles above sea level. Next, the eruption tosses out solid debris which can cause volcanic landslides. Then, lava will flow down the sides of the volcano, covering anything in its path, like roads and even entire towns. Lastly, the eruption releases clouds of ash which dust towns close by. Now let's make our own eruption. You will need sand, baking soda, vinegar, water, dishwashing liquid, red food coloring, and a baby food jar. Bury the baby food jar inside a mountain of sand. Then add four teaspoons of baking soda to the baby food jar. Mix together one fourth cup of vinegar and one fourth cup of dishwashing liquid. Then add a half cup of water and red food coloring. Pour some of the mixture inside the baby food jar and wait for the eruption. The baking soda and vinegar form carbon dioxide gas that mixes with the detergent to create the lava, which bursts from the volcano like magma bubbling to the surface. Discuss how this eruption is similar or dissimilar to an actual eruption. What's missing? 